Now that we've talked about the mole and molar mass, let's talk about molar volume. This is the volume of one mole. Okay, the volume of one mole. Well, the volume of one mole, I should say one mole here, of any gas, doesn't matter what it is, at STP is always 22.4 liters. So first of all, what the heck is STP? Well, it means standard temperature and pressure, and it is zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. The exact numbers aren't really important right now, but they will be in a later chapter. So the molar volume of a gas is always measured at STP, and it's 22.4 liters for one mole of any gas. So let's say, for instance, I have one mole of helium. I know that weighs 4 grams. Now, how do I know that? Because that's its molar mass. We get that from the periodic table. And at 0 degrees Celsius, okay, which is also 273 Kelvin, and one atmosphere, it weighs 22.4 liters. So one mole of oxygen, which is 32 grams, is also 22.4 liters. One mole of nitrogen, which is 28 grams per mole, is also 22.4 liters. So it doesn't matter what the gas is. If you're at the same temperature and pressure, it always occupies the same volume. To give you an idea of what 22.4 liters looks like, this box right here is 22.4 liters. So compared to a basketball or a soccer ball or football, just to try to give you a visual there. So what can we do with molar volume? Well, what is the volume of 1.25 liters, 1.25 moles of neon gas? So I've got a gas and I'm at STP. So I say 1.25 moles. And I want to change moles to liters. And one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. So all I have to do is multiply that out and it comes out to be 28.0 liters. So 1.25 moles of this gas would occupy 28 liters, which makes sense, right? One mole occupies 22.4 liters, one and a quarter weighs about, occupies about 28 liters. Doing that backwards, how many moles of CO2 gas will occupy 12 liters at STP? So go ahead and start with your 12 liters. Change liters to moles. One mole always occupies 22.4 liters. So if you divide that out, you get 0.536 moles. And that's really all there is to molar volume.